Ever since my last theory video, I've been getting tons of requests to talk about the seventh dimension, so let's not waste time. Now we'll start by talking about the first dimension, which creates two directions for us, left and right. The second dimension creates four directions, left and right, up and down. Now following this logic, the third dimension would give us six directions, which defines most of the shapes and the positions of space that we understand. Now we can also add a fourth dimension of time, which tells us how these shapes will evolve. At this point, how exactly could we get to a seven-dimensional universe? Well, since we can only have one temporal dimension, our best bet is going to be to add three spatial dimensions. So this would grant us six additional directions, meaning our common three-dimensional shapes would now have an infinite combination of vectors based on its position in these new hyperspaces. And in addition, we would also have entirely new shapes. So just like two dimensions gives us squares and three dimensions gives us cubes, seven dimensions would give us unique shapes that span this new hypervolume. 